Welcome Northeast Conference fans to our latest NEC Now podcast on the NEC Overtime Pod. Today I am joined by Long Island University swimmer Madison McCarthy as part of the Northeast Conference's educational initiative focusing on voter registration, NEC votes. We will be discussing the importance of civic engagement and young people becoming involved in the democratic process. Madison, thank you so much for being here. Thanks for having me. I'm excited. Happy to have you. I'm so glad you're excited. Um, just to start off, can you tell our listeners a little bit about your path from your hometown of Marietta, Georgia to LIU? What made you choose Long Island University to continue your academic and athletic careers? So my dad actually grew up in Brooklyn, um, about 15 minutes away from where I'm currently going to school. They moved to Long Island um, when my dad was in grade school. So I have a lot of family up here, which is always really nice to be away from home, but not too far away. So yeah, that was pretty much the main decision point for me. And then of course, our team is amazing and Coach Matt is pretty great too. So that was a big part of my decision as well. Yeah, that's great to hear that you do have family in the area, especially being so far from home and especially right now, I'm yeah. sure it kind of have that comfort of like family nearby. Yes. So you've been involved in political campaigns in your home state for a few years. What exactly do you do with these campaigns? So I started working on campaigns when I was 16 years old for a special election. Um, I worked at a field office, which is basically contact directly with voters. So knocking doors, making phone calls, planning events, um, all of which is a little difficult right now, but we're getting back to it. And yeah, that's pretty much how I got started. And I fell in love with it when I was really young and I'm continuing to love it even more every day. Yeah. So how long have you been doing that? Um, so I'm 19 now. I started when I was 16, so about three years. Oh, wow, that's cool. Like, before you could even vote, you're, like, helping other people. That's cool. Yep. <laughs> so today you're kind of spearheading LIU Athletics Voting Initiative. How have you approached this as a young person trying to inspire and encourage your peers to get out and vote? Um, I think for me, especially through the athletic department, is we're seeing the NFL, the NBA, and other major league sports teams come out and talk about how important it is to participate in democracy and get out and vote. So, so for me, it's um, pretty easy to go to my peers and say, these are the people we look up to, and they think it's important too, so we should too, because long gone are the days where athletes are only athletes. Mm -hmm. And like, what exactly are you doing on campus right now? Like, What kind of initiatives are in place? So right now we're still working on getting our website up, but over the summer I've collected data for registration dates, mail-in ballot dates, where to register, educational information on candidates in all 50 states. So we have all of the data ready. We're just working on graphics and website designs and things like that, and we should have it up and running soon. Yeah, that's awesome. And that's a pretty huge undertaking for you to be doing. You kind of know from a little bit of personal experience, just gathering the information for NEC votes. It's a lot and it's a lot of dates and especially with each state having different requirements. So that's, that's really great that you kind of took it upon yourself to do that for your peers and just LAU as a whole. Yeah, I've had a good time doing it. Honestly, it's really interesting to see the different rules and such in different states because obviously I'm from Georgia. So I only really knew about our laws, but now I'm can tell you when you need to register for pretty much every state. That's awesome. Um, and at Ellie, are you studying like political science or anything just out of curiosity? I am. I'm a political science okay. and journalism major. Oh, awesome. That, hey, I mean, you're doing exactly that. <laughs> well, it's really great. And so, I mean, from personal experience and from, you know, in the classroom, what are some common misconceptions or areas where knowledge is just lacking regarding registration and the voting process in general that you wish people knew a little bit more about? Um, one thing is definitely people don't understand that when you turn 18, you are not automatically registered to vote. It's something you have to do. Some states it's a little different, but you always want to check and make sure that you're ready for the election. Another big misconception I think would be is thinking that your vote doesn't matter based on where you live. Your vote always matters and it's your voice in our political and government system. So you should always use it. Yeah, definitely. Um, when I was doing some of the research for one of um, the other NEC votes, um, interviews. I found that there have been a few just local and state elections that were determined by one to two votes. So it's so crazy to see that people are like, oh, it doesn't matter. And I feel like that's super common among young people to think it doesn't really matter, or especially in states that are super blue or super red, people think that each little bit doesn't matter. Yeah, my mom always, always used to tell me when I fought with my brothers, don't come complain to me until you've done everything in your power to make the situation better. So I've kind of applied that to my whole life, especially with our government system. Like, I can't sit here and complain if I'm not going to show up to the polls on November 3rd. 
Man, you are definitely going to show up to the polls. That's oh yes. Um, is LIU kind of pushing like the mail-in voting or in person, just out of curiosity? Because I know Sacred Heart is arranging shuttles and things like that, but other schools are helping, you know, provide the actual like mail-in process. So um, for our campus, we have a lot of people on campus right now, but we all were given the option to take online classes. So mm -hmm. it's kind of a mixture of both. So obviously, if you're in your home state, like you can vote in person. But for me, I'm a yeah. thousand miles away. So I'm waiting on my ballot. And then hopefully we'll have something up basically showing the process of what you need to do to make sure your votes counted by mail or in person. Yeah, I didn't really understand the mail-in voting process until I started doing all of this because there's not a lot of different steps. We have to make sure you do it right. It's not hard, but mm -hmm. it's specific. It's kind of like baking, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a very complicated process, but hopefully we'll all get it figured out and we'll all get our voices heard this year. Yeah, hopefully. And on your own team, are you kind of encouraging um, your teammates to register and are you helping them like with that process, especially because it's online? I feel like that could be something that's kind of easy to do as a group. Yes. Yeah, so I've talked to my teammates a lot about this. I feel like they know by now just from following me on social media that I do a lot with voting and registering people to vote. So I feel like everybody pretty much knows if they have a question about the registration or something like that, like I'm the person to talk to. And I have registered a couple people or helped them find the website to that's awesome. register. So that's really great. And I think it's so nice that you're like, you know, the people around you have someone they can go to that is willing and able to help them. Cause sometimes you don't know what you don't know, if that makes sense, or it's just mm -hmm. easier to have someone that helps you guide like through it essentially. But yeah, that's, that's really great to hear. Um, and this is a very kind of broad question and take as much time as you need with it. But in your own opinion, why is it important to vote? Why are we, you know, really pushing this on people? Every day it gets more and more important to vote just from the things we see with social injustice and different rights that we want to protect as Americans. Like we are very lucky to live in a country that has so much freedom. But if we don't vote in these elections, we're not telling the politicians what we want to happen in our country. Because when it comes down to it, the people control the government, not government officials. We vote for them. They're working for us. So we, uh, that's all we have to do is we have to get our voices heard. And sometimes the system fails us. But like I said earlier, you have to do everything you can before you complain. Very, very well said. Um, and this is, again, just kind of out of curiosity. Do you continue kind of being engaged in campaigns and elections um, for like primary elections or local elections? Or is it more so the national elections that you're most passionate about? So most of what I've done with political campaigns has been local from congressional seats to state house seats and things like that. Um, I think all politics is local. It always starts at home and you don't realize it as much. But like if you think about times like now, the mayor of New York City determines a lot of the things we can and can't do today. And like some people don't realize like that's an important office too. It's not just the president who you're voting for. Yes, definitely. Um, I think that's been kind of a big issue, especially this election cycle, so people don't understand that you're voting for, on your ballot, there's so many different things, you know, senators, mm -hmm. representatives, even, you know, specific questions, and you're a local electors, not just the president. And that's something I have been really trying to kind of push on my friends and family to understand that there are, it's much more complex than just voting for one seat. We have that right as citizens, and a lot of people around the world don't have that right. So I feel like it's kind of our job to use that. So. Yeah, and I don't think that's something you could say too many times. And, you know, once your website is up, I'd love if you could send that to me. I'd love to see that and share that with our listeners. Of course. I'll let you know when we get it up and ready. Yes, I'm definitely looking forward to it. And thank you so much for taking the time to be here. I know you have a very busy schedule between some practice and class and everything. So thank you so much for taking the time and discussing this important topic. No worries. It was my pleasure. <laughs> I'm glad. For more on voter registration, follow at NEC Sports on Instagram and Twitter, where we will be sharing educational nonpartisan information every Tuesday leading up to the November 3rd general election. That was Madison McCarthy, and this has been NEC Now.